Many archaeologists and historians are focused on the southern side of Vesuvius, where the famous ill-fated cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum lie. However, away from the limelight, some have turned their attention to the northern side of the mighty volcano. This area is often overshadowed by its more famous counterparts and has not been paid as much attention by historians, yet it harbors secrets of its own, waiting to be unearthed. This area is known as Soma Vesuviana, and it is here that archaeologists have uncovered what they believe to be traces of the villa of Augustus, the first Roman emperor. Before the Roman colonization, the area of today's Soma Vesuviana was likely inhabited by Italic peoples such as the Samnites and Oscans, whose ancient roots ran deep in the fertile volcanic soils. However, as Rome's power and influence grew, this idyllic landscape became a sought-after retreat for wealthy patricians and estate owners who constructed magnificent villas amidst the picturesque surroundings. Excavations have revealed that this northern side of Vesuvius was equally as densely populated as the southern regions where Pompeii and Herculaneum once thrived. Yet, despite its historical significance, the area has not received as much attention from historians as its more famous counterparts. This oversight is perhaps due to the fact that Soma Vesuviana was not completely buried during the infamous eruption of 79 AD that forever entombed its southern neighbors. Instead, it was the later cataclysmic event of 472 AD that ultimately covered the region in a blanket of volcanic ash and debris. Remarkably, this later catastrophe preserved the remains of a thriving community that had managed to recover and continue after the earlier eruption, in stark contrast to the southern territories that were utterly decimated. As such, Soma Vesuviana offers a unique glimpse into a world that carried on in the shadow of Vesuvius. It is in this ancient landscape, steeped in history and shrouded in mystery, that archaeologists from the University of Tokyo have uncovered possible traces of the Villa of Augustus during excavations at Soma Vesuviana. Excavations in the Nola area during the 1930s uncovered a large Roman villa interpreted as the Villa of Augustus, which has been subject to ongoing archaeological investigations since 2002. The villa actually dates from the 2nd century AD. However, more recent studies by the University of Tokyo team have discovered traces of an earlier building in a lower context that dates from around the reign of Augustus himself. Gaius Julius Caesar Augustus, born Gaius Octavius, was the first Roman emperor from 27 BC until his death in AD 14. He is credited as the founder of the Roman Empire and the Principate system of government which lasted until the crisis of the 3rd century. He rose to power after the assassination of his great-uncle Julius Caesar, navigating a complex political landscape to emerge victorious in a series of civil wars. Through shrewd political maneuvering and military might, Octavian, as he was then known, consolidated power and eventually earned the honorific title of Augustus from the Roman Senate in 27 BC. This marked the official birth of the Roman Empire and the beginning of Augustus' reign. A pivotal moment in his rise came with his defeat of Mark Antony and Cleopatra at the decisive Battle of Actium in 31 BC. This victory over his rivals solidified his control over the Roman world and paved the way for the establishment of the Roman Empire. According to accounts by Tacitus and Suetonius, Augustus died in a villa located on the northern side of Mount Vesuvius, which was later consecrated as a temple for his imperial cult. Archaeologists used radiocarbon dating and a physical and chemical analysis of the volcanic pumice layers covering the earlier building, the results of which confirmed that the building existed before the Vesuvian eruption in AD 79 which destroyed Pompeii and Herculaneum. This eruption released a deadly cloud of superheated tephra and gases to a height of 33 kilometers, ejecting molten rock, pulverized pumice, and hot ash at 1.5 million tons per second. Excavations within the building have uncovered pieces of walls and roof tiles that collapsed due to pyroclastic flows as the volcanic material traveled down the northern side of the volcano. According to a press statement by the University of Tokyo, this suggests that even the northern foothills of Mount Vesuvius, where the effects of the AD 79 eruption were said to have been less severe than the southeastern region of the mountain, were also affected by the eruption with destructive power. To further support the supposition of the building being the Villa of Augustus, the team conducted the same physical and chemical dating of volcanic material on adjacent buildings associated with the early villa complex. Furthermore, radiocarbon dating of charcoal collected from the ruins of a kiln-like structure has dated the material to the early 1st century AD. The discovery of 1st century AD amphorae within the ruins indicate that the kiln-like structure was later converted into a warehouse before the eruption. 
Studies of the second century building have also revealed that it reused architectural features from the earlier Augustus Villa building, demonstrating a transition from disaster to reconstruction in the area around Mount Vesuvius after the devastating 79 AD eruption. The presence of personal baths within the villa, coupled with its abandonment coinciding with Augustus's death in 14 AD, lends credence to the theory of its association with the emperor. Additionally, the subsequent construction of a large temple-like structure atop the villa site supports this intriguing connection to one of the most influential figures in Roman history. This is because the villa in which he died was later consecrated as a temple for his imperial cult. Beyond its historical significance, the excavation at Soma Vesuviana provides crucial data on the impact of the catastrophic 79 AD eruption. Previous beliefs held that the eruption's devastation primarily affected the southern side of Mount Vesuvius, where Pompeii and Herculaneum were famously buried under layers of volcanic ash and debris. However, the discovery of collapsed walls and scattered roof tiles at Soma Vesuviana has revealed that the northern foothills were not spared from Vesuvius wrath. As volcano expert states, until now, it was thought that the impact of the eruption in AD 79 at Soma Vesuviana was limited. This survey has shown that the impact was greater. As archaeologists continue to unravel the mysteries at this site, they shed light on the lives of the Roman elite while gaining insights into one of history's most notorious volcanic events. The northern side of Vesuvius slowly emerges from the shadows, offering a unique perspective on a cataclysm that forever altered the region's course. The eruption of 79 AD was one of the most catastrophic natural disasters, burying numerous lives under ash, pyroclastic flows, and surges. Though Pompeii and Herculaneum have been extensively studied, the excavations at Soma Vesuviana reveal the eruption's broader extent of destruction, reminding us that history reserves many untold stories, buried beneath ashes of time, awaiting the patient archaeologists willing to listen. Thank you for watching this fascinating exploration of the excavations at Soma Vesuviana and the potential discovery of the Villa of Augustus. The unearthing of this ancient site continues to captivate archaeologists and history enthusiasts alike, offering tantalizing clues about the lives and legacies of Rome's elite rulers and citizens. As this archaeological endeavor progresses, it promises to rewrite our understanding of not only the Roman Empire's illustrious past but also the sheer power of nature to upend even the mightiest of civilizations. From the luxurious private baths to the architectural grandeur, each unearthed artifact and structural detail paints a vivid picture of the extravagance in which the emperor and his contemporaries indulged. Moreover, this excavation site has yielded invaluable insights into the catastrophic eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD, disproving long-held beliefs about the extent of its devastation. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for further updates as each carefully unearthed artifact and revelation brings us closer to unlocking the secrets that have laid buried for millennia, patiently awaiting the curiosity and perseverance of modern explorers to finally bring them to light. See you next time.